hello. Welcome to the Open to Hope show. I am your host, Dr. Heidi Horsley, and we are in partnership with the Compassionate Friends. My mom is not able to join us today, so I am here today with my guest, and we are going to have a very inspirational show. We are going to be talking about sharing a legacy of love, and I'm here today with Janine Leslie. Hi, Janine. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. So I want to talk a little bit about your background because I think it is very inspirational and your daughter Natalia sounded like an amazing girl and she still is an amazing person. Uh, so in August of 2013, Janine's daughter Natalia died to multiple complications relating to leukemia. Nat Natalia was diagnosed at age six and died at age 10 years old, leaving a legacy of love behind her. She made gifts, angels, artwork, and American and she shared an American girl doll bringing light and goodness to others uh, Her mother who is here with us today Janine continues to share her spirit through Natalia's endless love foundation Whose purpose is to continue Natalia's work of love Welcome so much to the show Janine. It's great to have you here today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it So tell us about your journey and about Natalia. She sounded like an amazing little girl well, um, she was that for sure. Um, as a mom, you know, you always kind of brag about your children, but um, there was something about Natalia that I knew from the very start that she, even before she was diagnosed at age six, even as a young baby, that she had some special, special gift inside of her um, that I just never could put my finger on. And I'd always say, that little girl's going to be doing something special someday. I just, I just knew it. She, and I, I don't know if it was just, just a quality she had. She, she was all about um, giving. It was just like in the more, you, if you gave anything to her, she would give back tenfold. It was, it was just a, the love that she expressed to others from the very young age was just, just unique. And it was different than any other child that I've ever seen. So I knew, I knew she had something, some quality about her that, that was going to do something amazing someday. Well, well, when you see her picture, she lights up a room. Yeah. You, know, you, you can feel the energy. Thank you. So I was like, wow. And you know, you, in reading about you and reading about Natalia, it sounds like, okay, so she was diagnosed at six. She dies at 10, which is four years, right? But it sounds like during her journey, she was really positive she was. and full of life throughout all this. Is that true? She was. She was, um, she always wanted to, you know, bring light to others. She was into singing. She, um, she actually sang at her brother's baseball games. She was, um, had a beautiful voice. She wow. got, she sang at one of the um, semi-pro baseball games here in, in Maine. Yeah, she sang God Bless America wow. and the Spangled Banner. And she was just, it was recently after she had just finished her, you know, first, first year of chemotherapy. And she um, she got involved in plays. She loved the stage, and she just she was uh, casted in a couple major roles in um, Sound of Music and in also um, Annie. And she just just livened up the stage, and um, you know, That's and I would amazing. stand back and just kind of with tears running down my face, just so proud, just knowing what she accomplished. And nobody that was in her cast even knew that she she had what she had we we kind of kept it a secret but she um she just she just shown that's all she was just well, uh, i'm guessing that you wanted her to be able to live as normal a childhood as possible absolutely it was all about it was all about the normalcy we the history we, we had lost my husband had lost his sister to leukemia um, when he was 14 and she was she was six so we kind of, I hadn't, but he had experienced that experience before. And both of his parents passed away in 2006 and 2009, and his dad had had cancer. So we had watched that journey. Um, she had been part of it, my children, my older boys as well. And so we wanted, we didn't want her to, you know, associate her illness with, with that outcome. So right. we... we we focused on her well-being, trying to keep positive, never put things in front of her that she didn't have to know. Just told right. her the necessities, you know, the things that she needed to know, but nothing that she didn't need to know. Um, just enough to get her through the moment. So, so that she could embrace life and live life fully. And she exactly. lived a pretty full life for ten, you know, in 10 years. 
She did. She, um, she did more in her lifetime, her 10 short years, than I've done in my, my years. I can, amazing. I can't believe she had the confidence to be able to sing in front of thousands of people. I mean, and, you know, perform in all these things. I mean, it was unbelievable. Yeah. So, I mean, she hasn't been in, go, gone from the earth for that long. It's, it was only 2013. Correct. This is a relatively very, it's a new loss. Um, so tell me about the fact, you have done so much to honor who Natalia is and was. You have done so much to honor her legacy and pay tribute to her because like you said, she was larger than life. She was full of positive energy. Tell us about how you went from, how, what you've done in the last four years and when you started this and how you started it because I know you have the Natalia Endless Love Foundation today. Correct. Um, basically what I'm doing, um, I'm doing it, kind of continuing what she started. I just, it started off as um, um, Natalia making angels, I guess. Um, you know, she, she made angels and she was involved with a couple little girlfriends. She, one of the little girls didn't have a doll for her birthday party. So she wanted to buy an American girl doll for her best friend. Mm -hmm. So she didn't feel left out. So she, she had started actually a fund. She had a little uh, coin fund in her bedroom um, with pocket change for other little girls. She always wanted to buy American girl dolls for, for other little girls. And she drew all the time. She, every part of her life, every, every experience that she had, she would want to draw it. And she had, if she watched a TV show, she would draw it. She just uh, had a visual of what, what she wanted to express. And she, and she started making the angels that she started making. And I'll show them to you in a minute. Um, we, she actually, um, 2012, when she was in remission, um, she came up, we were always looking around at crafts and she loved, she loved crafts and she loved just doing and, and sewing and all kinds of little things. And she came, we came across this yarn angel that she liked and she said, mommy, we should try to make those. We could make those for Christmas. And I thought, well, that'd be nice. We could make them as gifts. So she made some for her friends. We had extra materials left over. And she said, why don't we make some for the little boys and girls at the hospital? She said, I know how it feels to be in the hospital. And she said, you know, maybe make them feel better. So we, we ended up making probably about 40 of them. And we left them at the doorstep of the, of the um, main children's cancer and with a social worker and told her, you know, she could give them out to the little boys and girls. And Taya would be very thankful for that and, and happy to do that. So Natalia, um, we left him with her and probably about a week later, we got a call from the social worker and she was telling Natalia, she talked to Natalia and told her how it made a difference in one of the little girls that had the same thing that Natalia had. And so Natalia was ecstatic about that and she wanted to make more. So, so can you show us them while you're telling us? Let's see what they look like, the angels. Yep, and I'll show you, this is the, it's a yarn angel. It's made oh, out of yarn. Yeah. But Natalia actually, it's her, it's her design. We actually, you know, we saw something similar, but she kind of tailor made it to hers and the that. glitter and the face, she drew all the faces and she designed the, you know, the bows and they, she wanted to look pretty. I love it. And so anyway, the long and short of it is that, um, we did, she didn't make it till the next Christmas and we did it at Christmas time. But one day I was just thinking to myself, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to stop this because this is what she wanted. So I'm going to make them this year for Christmas. And I made them for some nursing homes and I made them for the, the kids at Barbara Bush. And then I decided to myself, I thought to myself, you know, this, this doesn't have to end because, right. you know, angels, angels are universal. They're not just Christmas. Right. They're not just, um, so I got thinking and I thought, you know, send people an angel. That's kind of a, a gift from from an angel you mm -hmm. know you send something to them and you know it can mean so many different things to different people right and so that's kind of how it started is i got this impetus and i i to be honest with you it it wasn't me you know i think i believe with all my heart that you know natalia wants me wanted me to do this and i just I want you to continue what she started that's exactly what I'm doing. And I know you have other things that you do. Show us Natalia's yeah. artwork and what you've done with that. So her artwork is is all everything is happy, you know. And it just and I thought she wanted to she wanted to have a um, like paper doll site of her own. Right. And she had it was called she wanted to call the Happy Girls Paper Doll Site. 
I love it. But she made my husband scan all her pictures because she wanted to put them on the internet and she wanted to have them so little girls could, you know, print them off. But I decided what the best thing because our little girls today, not so much with paper dolls. And I thought, well, you know, if I can't do a thing with little girls, maybe I can do something to help other people. So I designed cards with her artwork. Um, just, um, just different things. Um, you know, she different stages of her artwork. I mean, she was young at some pictures and some of them she was a little bit older, you know, and they all are happy with hearts and just, they, they all, and some of them are, you know, like Wonder Woman and all different things, whatever she thought of, she drew. So, so she did the Wonder, well, she was like Wonder Woman. She, she so I can see why she identified with that. Yeah, she she did. She identified with a lot of different things. And and I, I actually did decided to do a, a tribute on the back, you know, with the cards that show, you know, tell a little bit about her. So and and these cards are all in, inspirational. These particular ones are called by your side. Zataya absolutely loved her dolls. They were like her children. I love and it. she didn't want to even go to college when she grew up because she didn't want to leave her dolls and she wanted, she always made me promise that if she did go away, that I would take care of them. So I take care of her personal dolls, you know, that's my job, but yeah. we um, order dolls, especially for people. If we find a little girl that needs, um, you know, needs a little comfort, um, you know, Natalia was pretty particular on who she picked, you know, so I, I make it like a nomination process because she never wanted anybody to hurt the dolls. Mm -hmm. So she made sure that, you know, it was somebody that really needed it and then somebody that was really going to take good care of it. So those are the two criteria that we do recommend. We have a, we have a recommendation form online that if you want to refer somebody that you know that could use a doll, it goes through a, a process and then we, we nominate, we, we choose that person. So I love that, Janine. So how many years after Natalia died, did you start your foundation? Um, it was probably right when I started the angels. Um, I started that probably that December um, of 2013. That's when I started thinking about, and I came up with the name Natalia's endless love because her love is just endless. And I just couldn't think of a better name because she just keeps, you know, I, her, her love shows up everywhere and I never want it to go away. I never, I want, I want to share in it in order to keep her, her spirit alive. I, I really truly believe that they were meant to share. I really, I believe that the artwork and the angels and the dolls, she left them here for a reason. And I just feel like I'm supposed to do that. Um, and that helps you to create meaning right health right now which is I right. think, really important when people are trying to figure out how to find hope again after the death of a child sibling spouse why am i still here the strength that i get i get it from her and from god there's no yeah. there's no question in my mind and this is very powerful for people out there because you like you said you know Nat, natalia left the earth in 2013 and i know that there's a lot of moms and out there watching that are like, we don't know what our meaning is. We don't know what our purpose is. We don't know how we're going to survive. What would you say to them? Well, what I say is step back and just take a look and don't, don't try to find it necessarily because it'll find you. You just have to open up your heart. It's so hard when your heart is broken. And believe me, you never, it never becomes whole again. Uh, anybody that's been through a loss like this, um, your heart will never ever be healed and never be whole. But you have to take that light. You have to do something when your heart is broken. You have to turn it into something good um, because what, what it does is it, it turns, and Natalia did this too. She would turn things like her treatment after her treatment. She would go through her treatment, like a, a spinal tap or anything that she just, just didn't want to have. And then she'd say, mommy, can I have a piece of paper? I give her a piece of paper and she'd draw the most beautiful picture. And she always had this amazing thing about taking something negative that maybe just, and turning it into something positive. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would tell people is step back, just take a look and just realize that, you know what? there's more to this than than we know mm -hmm. and we have to just realize that that there's something out there that we all have a special gift and there's a reason as much as we don't want to admit it um 
there's a reason we're 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 here and um you know we have to just have to make that into something powerful because there's and like you said janine lean on god's love and lean on natalia's love and lean on their energy because it sounds like that's what you have done in your journey um i know that it sounds like uh natalia had brothers older brothers mm -hmm. and how many older brothers does she have she has two older brothers yeah and and how how have they found hope and how have they dealt with all of this um they are they're very we're very family oriented so mm -hmm. we were with we they were never left to the hospital we were all together from every moment and we're still together we do a lot of stuff family time together um and that's probably pretty much how we cope we you know well, we don't say what you're yeah. saying I'll tell you janine you're, you're basically telling me that we as a family are getting through this together right i don't know how we're, we didn't know how we were going to do it but we knew we were going to have each other and lean on each other and be there for each other and that's really powerful that's important what are some tips and tools that have helped your family um Probably just um, like being together, like spending a lot of time together, talking about things, you know, and I, I, I show them what I do a lot. Um, so they see a lot of the stuff that I do. How do they find you? If they want to find your website, how, where do they go? They go to, it's www.nataliasendlesslove.com. I want to thank you for what you're doing. I want to thank you for helping us see how your family has come together. We can't grieve in a vacuum. We can't grieve alone. We all have to come together and say, look, we're going to get through this yes. and we are going to survive and we are going to lean on God and we are going to do it as a tribute to Natalia because you know that she is your guiding light and she always will be. Absolutely. So I want to thank you so much, Janine, for being here today and for sharing your story and for sharing Natalia with us. Mm -hmm. And we always say it opened the hope. If you've lost hope, Please lean on ours. Please lean on Janine's until you find your own. And God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much.